Hi there, my name is Paige and we're going to be doing a hunter grooming tutorial today. So we're going to be talking about mane pulling and we're going to do a hunter mane braids as well as a hunter tail. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is my model cash. Okay, so as we can see this mane is pretty long. Um, it's not very thick so we'll mostly be pulling um, to get the length down. So what you want to do is start with the longest hairs on the mane back comb a few times, wrap the part in your finger around the comb and pull out. Um, some horses are really sensitive about it. Cash is more preoccupied with her cribbing, <laughs> so she doesn't really notice. But it's best to start with small chunks to see how they're tolerating it. Um, and I also recommend doing this a few days or weeks before the show so that you aren't pulling all their hair out and then putting really tight braids in all in one go. Um, so yeah, I'll keep pulling and then we will come back once I'm done. Okay, so I've pulled the top part up here because it's the thickest part. Down here, her mane is pretty thin. So what I'm going to do is just cut it, but I don't want it to be blunt. Um, like a jumper mane, so I'll just cut up into it like this. We can always tidy it up once it's all braided down as well. Okay, stop. stop. All right, so once our mane is prepped, we are ready to start braiding. So we'll start at the top. I use a little hair clip like this, and this is how I measure out the spacing of my braids. So I normally do um, about four, four tongs. And I'll just put that there, pull it down straight. You want like a nice crisp line. Then you're gonna wet the mane just with a sponge. You can use a spray bottle, but some of them don't like it. And then we are going to section our pieces. You want it to be really tight at the top when you start because this is what's going to help the braid lay flat. So I'm going to braid 10 crossovers before I tie my <laughs> yarn in. I chose a darker color just so it would be easier to see, but normally I would pick something that matches her mane. So with the yarn, you just tuck it underneath and then you braid it in. And you want your braid to be about a hand's length. So depending on the length of the mane, it will be a different number of crossovers for every horse. For her, I do 18. And then you just knot off the braid. So you just kind of make a loop and tie it and that will secure the braid. So normally I would braid down the whole mane before I actually tie them up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. So with this little tail, you can, you can cut it off. If you are going to cut it off, I recommend cutting up into it like this so you're not getting a blunt edge because it makes it pretty hard to um, tie the braid up straight. I'm going to leave it. I'll show you how to tuck it in so you don't have to cut anything. So I use the latch hook to pull the yarn up through. So pull it up like this. Just leave the tail hanging for now. And then you want to pull it up nice and tight into the braid. Not so that it's popping through. We don't want this. So I'll just pull it back down but you want to be able to see that you're fully up in the braid. Then you're going to split the yarn, do one knot behind. This is where you can try to catch the tail as much as possible. Then we're going to do a knot on top. For this one, I loop it twice so that it holds and the knot doesn't loosen once I've set the braid. So then you're going to push up so you get this little bobble and pull nice and tight. And you can straighten from here. And then there's this little flyaway here, but we're gonna catch that in our next knots. So we're gonna go underneath again. Try to catch that flyaway, there we go. Can do two. I like to do one on the top. 
and then two underneath to finish. And there we go. So we would do that down the whole mane. Some of the most important parts about hunter braiding is that you want the bottom of your braids to be even along the crest of their mane. So it should follow the shape of their mane and should be a nice straight line. You want your braids to be nice and straight and you want the spacing between them to be even. So that's why it's important to use the clip as a spacer and then count how many braids, how many times you cross over because that will get you the right length. So I'll keep going and I'll show you a bit more farther down the main. So once you're done the whole mane, I'm only doing five, but once you're done the whole mane, you can trim off the yarn pieces. So since we tied the knots at the very back, you just want to trim kind of to the side of the braid like that. And you'll do that for all of them. Make sure that when you leave the stall, you pick up all the yarn pieces so Pony doesn't eat them not very tasty or good for them. So then you'll have your yarn like that. All right, so after you're done showing and you wanna take the braids out, it's important to get them really, really wet. Lots of them don't like this, but the easiest way to do it is just to go to the wash rack and wet down your braids. And then you're gonna use a seam ripper being very careful not to cut any of the hair. You wanna kinda of turn the braid on its side. <laughs> Wait for my model to cooperate, okay. And you wanna just do one cut up the side. Like that. I think I missed a couple. And then one up here. And then you should just be able to unravel like that. And for this, it's best if you cut down towards you like that. And then you just unbraid. But yeah, the mane should be nice and wet so that you aren't breaking any of the hair off when you unbraid. And if you've been braided for a couple days, it's pretty hard on their mane. So you want it to be nice and wet when you take them out.